Yo, what's going on guys? Liv here, bringing you guys the first of hopefully many Gen 4 OU Wi-Fi battles. Uh, I, I'll be uh, completely honest, I got in this tier because I saw Owen streaming a lot, and I tried to learn a bit about it. Um, I stole a team from Owen's pace to 300 that he found, so shoutouts to Owen. Uh, I'll link him down below along with the full paste. Um, I'm also going to link the team itself as a, another link, just in case you guys don't want to search the full paste and you just want to have this specific team. Um, but yeah, so a few things obviously been known about Gen 4 OU for anyone unfamiliar uh no team preview so we just led uh we have zapdos as our lead obviously I, we have a uh, our yeah aerodactyl as our lead against zapdos i think my play here truthfully is just to go for uh stone edge just a raw stone edge owen has to withdraw obviously it's perfect fine i have a sash so it doesn't really matter um unless owen has some sort of really really good fake out mon which i don't think there's a lot of in this tier um okay so this should be a really nice hit though against the star me um stone edge missed i guess it's not a really nice hit um, but it is what it is. Star me. Okay. So, this is level 100 as well. Something I need to keep in mind. Because I'm used to level 50 on Wi-Fi. Um, with that said, though. Uh, Star me will 100% a rapid spin. I feel confident in it. Um, so, what I'm going to do here, I think, is actually... I'm going to go hard into... Oh, you know what? Might have Thunderbolt here. Probably a Thunderbolt, actually. Fuck. Okay. I think I kind of have to just go for Stone Edge. And just have to hope I hit this time. Um, there we go. There we go. Okay, so Stone Edge into Earthquake should guarantee kill. So I'm really not that worried. Uh, one thing as well you will need to keep in mind with this is the HP bar moves ridiculously slowly. So I'm sorry for that. For anyone, of course, unfamiliar with this. Um, we got a pretty low roll there, but it's really not a huge deal. Earthquake should pick it off, guarantee. Um, Hydro Pump goes off, and that should guarantee kill. Well, it should guarantee bring us down to our Sash, I should say. It does 179%. So why the HP bar can't move slower, I couldn't tell you. But, uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, the HP bar moves kind of fast though right now, I'm not going to lie. Uh, okay, so this is good to know though. This is good to know. So, Owen is going to reveal an item now. He is revealing something here, whether leftovers or life orb. He's leftovers. Ooh, that's good to know. So maybe he's a fat star me. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So what can I do? So if I was to go for a rocks here, just sack this. I could maybe bring in Zapdos. How much does Zapdos actually take? Zapdos lives any hit guaranteed, actually. So I can agility on this if it's going for rapid spin. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks this turn. Um, Owen's realistically going to just attack and just pick off. Um, if he goes for rapid spin, that's a very good play on Owen's part. I have one HP left. Um, it would be a very smart play. Rapid spin. Okay, you know what? Phenomenal play by Owen. That was really good. Um, so we lost our arrow here. 100% um, I think that was Owen's right play, obviously, because of the fact that we clearly only had one HP left. We guaranteed died to it. Um, so smart play by Owen, 100%. Uh, knowing that he's leftover, so I still am going to go into Zapdos here. Because, while we don't know if Owen has a ground type yet, he does like 68% max with Ice Beam, keep in mind. So I think that our play is to just go into Zapdos and just go for an agility here. Uh, Zapdos should be able to put on a lot of pressure on Owen's scene, even if he does have a ground type. Because uh, most of them will fold to HP Ice. I would really only be worried, I guess, a Swampert. Or maybe like a Donphan, but I don't think Donphan's running this tier. Uh, so with that in mind, though, I'm going to go for an agility here. We hit pretty much anything that would want to come in. I cannot think of many Pokemon that really want to come in on this. Um, so, between Heat Wave, Thunderbolt, and HP Ice, though, we should be pretty destructive against this team. Uh, whatever ground type does come in here. I'm kind of curious. What ground types are actually run? Um, I'll be honest, I kind of forget. I know Hippos run. Um, I know Flygon's also run. If Memo comes in, I'm kind of fucked. I kind of have to go hard scissor if Memo comes in. There's a bog. Please tell me that's not the... Okay, it's Flygon. You know what? That's actually great. That could not be a, that could not have been better. If this is his ground type, that's super good for us, actually. Um, only set that would concern me is if he's for some reason some Yachi Berry variant. But this should be really good. Uh if Mammo comes if if he does a Mammo, I do a scissor at least, which can do a fair bit of damage. We're gonna go for Hidden Tower though. This should guarantee kill. He's withdrawing. Good play by Owen, of course, doubling there. Uh he's going to Frock. Please tell me it's not the Mammo. Titar. Oh fuck, you know what? Yeah, I forgot Titar also choose. I'll be completely honest, I legitimately forgot Titar is a really good check to the set. Um, don't know how I forgot it, but I did. So I'm kind of sad. Um, Hidden Power Ice, so we do reveal the Hidden Power. Again, not too scared, because you do actually still have, uh, we still have some good checks to Titar, to be fair. But this is going to do literally zero. I'm shocked it actually did that much, if I'm being honest. Um, Tyranitar. So, Tyranitar versus Zapdos. I want to check that real quick. So we can see his item, of course, here. So we see that our leftovers goes off first, which makes sense. Now, if he has leftovers of his own, they should pop here. If not, we might get a good idea. So, a few things he could be. He could maybe be, uh, if this is any standard Titar, he could be the all-purpose Titar. He could be Ban Titar, which would also take around that little. 
Uh, he could be maybe a Dragon Dance variant. The point is, though, is he's probably some sort of slightly bulky Petita if I had to guess. Uh, with that in mind, though, I think I'm going to go hard into Suikun here, the GOAT. Uh, Suikun should be able to chew any hit, of course. Uh, and with Suikun as well, something to keep in mind is that we are Calm Mind Suikun. Calm Mind, pretty offensive. We do actually pressure a lot of Owens currently available mods pretty well. Um, like T-Star, for example, takes half. Stone Edge goes off, that's perfectly fine. We're going to be able to scout. If it's banned, it should 2 or KO, otherwise it should be a 3 KO. So we'll be able to figure that out pretty easily. Uh, we have leftovers as well. So between... Okay, so this is definitely not banned. Because they did way too little to be banned. I think it might just be Jolly too. Um, did 175. So 175 would have put us literally at the half mark on our Suicune. Um, this Suicune... This Suicune's wrong. Did I put the wrong Suicune set? No. This Suicune's definitely wrong. I don't know how, but I think it's wrong. Uh, I think the Ivy's might have been fucked. Oopsies. <laughs> okay, so we're playing with a less HP Suicune. That's kind of fun. Um, okay. So with that in mind, though, um, I still don't think he's banned. He did way too little to be banned. Um, okay. Regardless, though, we're going to just go for a Hydro Pump here. He's withdrawing perfectly fine. He, he's probably going to go into Starmie. Um, Zap Toes. Okay, that's fine. We'll still do actually a lot of damage with Hydro Pump, so I don't mind that. Um, maybe force a Roost here or something. I believe Zapdos still run a lot of Roost in this turn. Um, I didn't see a lot of offensive Zapdos. I saw a lot more, like, fat Zapdos and builds. So it should still take a lot, though. Even if it's bulky Zapdos, it's going to take around, like, just about half. Uh, though, of course, if it has leftovers, it's going to be able to get a lot back. Yeah, see, that did around half. So we'll be able to see what the item is. Uh, to be fair, though, Sand will at least be some nice chip on this. Because Sand will at the very least stop its leftovers from going off, which will help a lot with potential switch-ins this weekend set, which, personally, I'm a huge fan of. Uh, so yeah, it's looking more like that might have just been a not, uh, a not boosting T-Tar because of the fact that we did get to half after the sand damage, which is good to know. It's good to know. Um, in terms of Zapdos switch-ins here, uh, we don't actually have good Zapdos switch-ins on this team. I don't know why I chose this, because Zapdos Senna was really common. I don't know a lot about this gem, but I know that Zapdos is really common. Uh, regardless, so we're gonna go into Heatran here. I think Heatran's our best play. Unless this is, like, HP ground or something, it should be a great kill no matter what. Um, this is another mod I think the Ivy's got fucked on, so I gotta remember to check that for future. Um, because this definitely is not max Ivy's, because this only has 317. I think it's, uh, 25? But a 24. It's 24 IV because we have 4 HP. So that's great to know. Um, I definitely have to check that next time. Um, okay, so Thunderbolt should do no, it shouldn't do half if it's defensive. Okay, so this is a no offensive Zapdos. I think it's a spec Zapdos, actually. Um, to have done that much, I'm almost certain that it's a spec Zapdos. Uh oh, that is that might be mod. Oh, you know what? Never mind, that's no investment. Um, yeah, that's probably a spec Zapdos. I was gonna say modest, but no, it's definitely timid specs. Uh, okay, so we're sacking now. Um, I guess just to, just to be safe, I'm gonna go for explosion just to get momentum. If for some reason Owen switches, maybe I think we're scarf. Um, so I do want to, of course, make sure that we're not losing momentum on this. Uh, at the very least, though, is after it's just saying we do get a pretty free Gengar here, actually. Uh, Gengar should get a really free focus blast because Owen will 100% be going hard into uh, going hard detar on that. Because there's zero, there's negative chance, in my opinion, that Owen will stay in a risk that risk the Zapdos when that is probably his best breaker to Suicune. Um, especially having seen how much damage we did with Suicune, I have zero reason to believe that Owen will not keep this around. So, either he's going to attack here, assuming that we're not Scarfed, or he's going to assume that we are Scarfed and he's going to double, probably into... I had to guess the T-Tar. I guess the T-Tar will be one double. So he's withdrawing. Okay. So he's playing it safe. That's perfectly fine. We're not really getting anything else out of this. Starmie. You know what? I'm perfectly happy with that. Because this explosion should still do a lot to Starmie. So I'm actually really happy with that. Explosion goes off. Beautiful. Okay. I think that was a necessary play, personally. Um, hopefully a Starmie can get picked off too. Because this mod is also really annoying for our team, actually. Uh, explosion should do a ton of damage this gen as well. I know Explosion does like insane damage. Yeah, it's basically a no-co on anything I want. Um, okay, so good to know, good to know. That's why I guess this team has two explosion Pokemon. Two special attacking explosion Pokemon at that, too. Which is kind of funny. Um, okay. So, Sandstorm Rages, we killed the Starmie at least, which is a huge threat to our team got. Um, that was a massive threat to us, actually. Uh, what I'm gonna go into here, I think I'm gonna go into Gengar. No, 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 I'm actually gonna go into Scizor, I think. We've not seen any sort of Heatran or anything. And even if there is a Heatran, I can go hard speaking on it. So, I feel confident about going hard Scizor. So Alu comes in, uh, what is my opponent going to go into? Zapdos, okay. Fuck. That's going to be a problem. Um, okay. So what are we going to do here? Um. 
So if it does lock it in T-Bolt, we can actually take a hit. Oh, oh wait, that's that's after Scizor. So yeah, we can take a hit if it locks in T-Bolt. If it locks in e wave though, at the very least, we do get a free Suicune. Um, or Gengar too. We get a free Gengar either way. I think we kind of just bite the bullet and go for go for U-turn here. Because we could potentially also keep this mon around. So I'm going to go for a U-turn here. He's withdrawing. Okay, you know what? I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, Krakatoa. That's the heat turn. Really got a U-turn. I almost took Bullet Punch, to be completely honest. So I'm glad I U-turn. That mon was kind of scary, though. <laughs> it was a bad term I did not want to be in. Uh, this does help to reveal, though, that he might not have hidden power. Uh, heat Wave, or at the very least, he was not comfortable locking it as long as we can around, which is good to know. Um, okay, so what, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go hard into Suicune. Suicune is definitely my best, my best play here. Uh, because what I can do is I can go for... Suicune actually takes a lot, uh, does a lot with Hydro Pump here. It also does a lot with hit, with Ice Beam. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Hydro Pump here. All it doesn't have a switch in as far as I'm aware. Uh, and if he has a Grass type, that's fine. I can deal with it then. But I think at the very least, though, it is in our best interest to go for Hydro Pump. Uh, if Owen's some sort of Scarf set, that's fine. It shouldn't really do a lot. Uh, worst case scenario, is Scarf Explosion, I guess. Um, Scarf Explosion would kill us. But it's something I can't really risk because my switch into Scarf Explosion is Scizor. And that's not taking a fire hit. Um, so I'm going to go for Pump here. Pump is definitely my best play, in my opinion. So we're going to hope that... We're gonna hope that I will maybe sacks his Zapdos. I have no reason to believe he will, though. He's withdrawing here, perfectly fine. Um, goes in a bog. Okay, that's fine actually. I'm fine with Flygon coming in here, to be completely honest, because that makes Zapdos' end game a lot better for us. Uh, we literally just need to kill a Titar, which I can certainly kill a Titar. That's not gonna be an issue. Uh, Flygon should take a lot from this, though. Uh, realistically, we could also pick off Flygon, so I won't need to worry about any sort of shenanigan. Free Flygon. Escar Flygon takes a lot. Okay, good to know, good to know. Um, if this is leftovers, we'll figure that out here, obviously, because it will gain actual HP. Um, okay, so it's not leftovers, either that or it's slower for some reason, but there's zero reason to believe it's slower, especially with how much it took. Zero chance it's slower. Uh, okay, okay. So what am I going to go into? I think I'm going to go into Scizor here. Uh, Scizor, I think, is my best play. I can pick it off with Bullet Punch or even U-Turn, to be honest. Earthquake doesn't really do a lot either. If he goes for U-Turn of his own, very, very good play. I think it's a phenomenal play if he goes for U-Turn of his own, but I don't really see it happening. I think he's going to try and sack, if I'm being honest. Um, but this does give us a free U-Turn if he stays in, though, so I'm definitely happy about that if he does. Okay, so he's going to go for Outrage. Ooh, that's really, really glad I went for that. Okay, okay. Um, all right, so Outrage should be chewed. Um, we should be taking literally zero damage from this. That did a lot, actually. That did, like, 80. Is that Scar? That might be, might be more boosting. Nope, that's Scarf. That's definitely Scarf damage. Okay, good to know. Um, he probably decided to sacrifice between the Zapdos, the fact that I have Suicune, which chooses the hits, and also Scizor. He probably realized it's not going to do a lot for him, which is definitely fair. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click... I'm going to click Roost in a U-turn. Because he's locked in for another turn, so I can get a bit more health on this thing. Uh, I'll put myself at pretty much this amount of HP, the 250-ish, roughly. Which is good, because even if he does break out, it's really not a big deal for us, because he could double out and I get initiated on that. So, either way, I'm in a better position by clicking Roost this turn, in my opinion. Um, what I could also do is click Bullet Punch here. However, I think it's still in my best interest to click U-Turn. Because that way then, if he does break out... Well, if he breaks out, I think it is. Um, I still think this is probably my worst Pokemon to be in against Moster's team. So, I think that my play is 100% to go for a U-Turn. So, he, he did break out. Okay. Then I'm 100% clicking U-Turn. There's no reason to go for Bullet Punch this turn. So, we're going to go for U-Turn here. Uh, definitely glad I went for the Roost, though. Because this might help against Titar. Uh, especially if it's not a Dragon Hits. Well, actually, if it is a Dragon Hits, Citar especially. But in general, it will help a lot against Citar. Uh, it could also maybe pick off Zapdos, depending on if I get it low enough or not. Uh, regardless, so if he is switching out. So he's switching out. Perfect. Okay. So no matter what, I can bring in Gengar here, which is great. Krakatoa? Beautiful. I can bring in Gengar on this. Really, really glad I went for the Roost. Heatran. Okay. Um, so I can go into Gengar. I could also go into Scizor. I think I'm actually going to go into Scizor in case of Scarf. I don't want to risk Scarf, because we haven't seen a an item on this, so I am inclined to believe this might be Scarf. Uh, and Owen is running out of Hydro Pump switches too, which is great. Uh, so I'm going to go for a Suicune Hydro Pump here. Uh, now, if we miss, that we're kind of fucked. Because, especially if something like Zapdos doubles in on, on a miss, we're pretty screwed. Though I will say as well, if he sacks Fly on here, and then goes for, uh, we miss a pump, that's not the worst deal in the world, because I could potentially play around that. But it's still not good. Um, okay, okay. 
So he's definitely not going to stay in, though. I've clicked Pump every time. I might actually click Ice Beam here. Yeah, just be safe. I think I'm actually going to click Ice Beam. Because we've clicked Pump only. We've only clicked Pump here. So maybe he assumes that we're not going to click it. So I'm going to click Ice Beam. Might be more reliable. If he stays in, that's a really good prediction by him, I guess. But I don't see him ever making that. Yep, he's going to switch out. He has a Red Riot. That's probably Scizor. Ooh, fuck. I really wish I clicked it. Uh, okay, not a huge shield, not a huge shield. Scizor, okay, okay. So Pump actually does around half to this. If it's a bulky Scizor. Um, it's took a, it took a fair bit. I think it's actually really fat. That's like really fast Scizor. Okay, okay. So Bandit Scizor does not kill us. Actually, no, Bandit Scizor does kill us. Um, okay, okay. So we do need to be careful about this. Bandit Super, how much does it do to my Scizor? Does a lot. It does a fuck ton. Okay, good to know. Um, I mean, if he clicks, okay, okay. So I don't think there's any chance he clicks Pursuit or Bullet Punch here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double into Gengar on the Superpower U-Turn. I chew both, even if he is banded. Uh, this is where we will get fucked if I go for Superpower. And I don't want Zapper taking unnecessary damage because this is my win con. Uh, so I really need to keep that in mind. So I'm going to go hard Gengar. If he goes for Superpower, that's great. I think he will go for Superpower U-Turn here. He goes for U-Turn. Okay, perfect. So we can scout for band, leftovers, etc. We know it's not leftovers, at least, but any sort of like boosting item we scout for. Uh, so that's doing a lot. That's, I think I did the on the dot. That is band. That is definitely, that's out of band. Okay, good to know. Really good to know. Uh, so his only switching right here is Flygon. Either that or he's going to go into Titar and hope on a Focus Blast Mist. Um, either way, I think I just attack with this thing. Um, well, if Flygon comes in, we go hard and this is our, if he goes for anything else, he goes to Bog. Yep, it's Flygon. Okay. Good to know. Uh... All right, so I'm gonna go hard into I'm gonna go hard into Scizor here. Uh, this is kind of scary though. It's actually really scary. I think Owen might be slowly whittling me down, which is something I don't really want to let happen. Uh, how much does Scizor take from Earthquake from Flygon? Owen doesn't know my item to be fair. Hmm. I almost want to stay in. I was about to say, Owen doesn't know my item. Uh, and he might assume I'm Scarfed. But at the same time, I feel like he knows I'm not. Huh, fuck, this is really tough. This is really tough. I think I'm going to... Because I don't know Owen's last one. I know he has a Flygon. I know he has a T-Tar. I'm going to go for Shadow Ball here. I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. He goes for U-Turn. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. So Shadow Ball going off, that's great. I'm really glad I didn't double there because Owen would have gotten a lot of momentum on that if I went into Scizor. He could have gotten free heat turn there and my heat transmissions are not that great, especially if he goes for a Toxic on my Suicune. Could have been really, really bad. So I'm definitely glad I played around that. Um, Obviously, if he clicked, if he clicked Outreach, that would have been really bad for him. Um, Okay, okay. So for this though, I think I just go hard into into Zapdos. But I go hard into, I, I go hard in my Scizor on this actually, which is perfectly good for us actually so i'll definitely take that um okay so we got a little bit of damage off on this not any great damage but it was damage nonetheless uh how should we do to detail actually i might just sack this um focus boss does kill even through sand okay so i do need their surround then um so yeah i'm gonna go to my scissor here if you guys for superpower and predicts the switch great play by owen but i can double into this i know he's banded um, I know for a fact he has to be banned. There's no other way he could have gotten that roll. Life Orb wouldn't have done it. And even then, he would have shown Life Orb. So I'm going to go to my Scizor. Um, we do live at least one hit guaranteed, which is where definitely this uh, this Roost play really helped us. Bullet Punch, perfect. Okay. That's good. That is good for us. Okay. So. Huh. Scizor plus two. Versus. Oh, you know what? Never mind. We need Heat Trend on. I was going to say, I was trying to count how much we do plus two. We do like jack shit Heat Trend. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click U-Turn. If Owen stays in here, really good play, but I don't think he will. Um, Because he could have gotten a lot of, like a really good positioning on that. Okay. So he's sacking Bog here. Um, That's perfectly fine. I don't mind him sacking Bog. Uh, at the very least, we do get into, we get into Gengar pretty nicely. And that should be good for us. Um, I will say though that I'm probably gonna have to sack Gengar to uh I'm gonna probably have to sack Gengar to Scizor. Because if you guys are super power, I lose my Scizor. Um actually no, I guess like no, I, I think Scizor is a lot more important than Gengar to be completely honest. Okay. So where to go into Gengar? 
I have no reason to really keep this around in my opinion. It's pretty much dead at this point. And his team chews it really well barring Titar, which I do have Scizor for. Um, so realistically, he's going to go hard Scizor here and go for probably a bullet punch. If he doesn't go for a bullet punch though, I'm going to get a really nice hit off on it. Uh, that would I cannot risk Scizor taking a superpower because it's really, really important in my game. It's great for Titar and it's not going to miss too. That's another thing. Uh, it's great to pick off Zapdos if we get a little bit more chip on it. So I do kind of need to sack here. This is very unfortunate how it became to this, but I do actually you know what? I'm gonna go click T-Bond. I'm gonna click T-Bond. If he goes for, yeah, I'll say, if he goes for anything besides Bullet Punch, I can definitely pick it off, which I think is important. Because like U-Turn could have potentially gotten a roll on us, which I think would have been good. Uh, bullet Punch is fine though. Okay, so on Bullet Punch, Scizor, Choice Band, versus Suikiru. Okay, so what I get to here, I can actually go hard into my Suikiru here. We take nothing from a banded bullet punch. We take literally negative. Um, it does 22.8% max. So I'm probably just clicking pump here. It's a really, really fair hydro pump actually. Uh, so I'm gonna click hydro pump here. And we should get a really, really good amount of damage off on that scissor. Uh, my guess is that Owen might just, well, I think his mod is really important for Owen actually. He's gonna just go for bullet punch. Okay. He, he probably just wants to chip on this and then free Zapdos, which is very fair. Zapdos is really free after this. Oh, um, that Zapdos is actually super annoying. I kind of wish I could get a guard around, but it's not a huge shield. Uh, okay, okay. So Hydro Pump should do a lot of damage to Scizor. We might kill, but it's not guaranteed. Um, I think it might actually be just just high enough to where it lives. It's either just high enough or just in range, but it, it would be a good roll I would need. Yep, okay. So that's perfectly fine. Uh, pretty understandable. Uh, I would have needed a pretty near max roll to kill, even if he was in range. And I don't even know if he was. I think he was just out of range. Uh, what I am going to do, however, here, though, is click Ice Beam. Because I have zero reason to click pump and risk a miss. So I'm going to click Ice Beam here. Uh, if Owen switches out, good play. But, I mean, what would he switch it to? Heatran's going to die to pump next turn. Uh, Titar would as well. Zapdos gets fucked. Uh, and then, yeah. So, okay, so this is fine. Uh, we're going to kill this at least. This is a pretty big factor as well. So I'm fine with that. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, Zapdos have his specs, which I'm almost certain it's specs. We'll probably just come in here. Oh, and it's no better bring in than Zapdos. So, I think that with that in mind, I I think I sack this. I want 100% sack this. And then I go into, hopefully I die to sand actually. Do I die to sand? Oh, are you fucking kidding? That would have been so good if I could have died to sand. Actually, no, I think it's better that I don't because I can force Zapdos to come in now. Zapdos has to come in because otherwise he's taking a Hydro Pump. Um, so I'm actually really glad. I'm really, really glad that we didn't die to sand now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know why I wanted to at first, but I'm definitely glad we did not die to sand. Okay, so he's going to Zapdos here. Perfectly fine. Really good bring in by Owen. He has no drawback to it. Um, okay, okay. So I do need to sack here because I have literally zero switch to this one. Um, my Zapdos is still a really good endgame, actually. Okay, so he's going to go for T-Bolt here. That's going to kill. That's going to 100% kill. Um, I need to go into Scizor, I think. Uh, Zapdos. Is that actually modest? Oh, fuck. That does so much. How much is... Oh, fuck. That does so much. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. Let me think. I think I can get at least one more kill guaranteed. I do think I need to go into... Oh, does this sort of kill? Does sort of kill specs? It can... No, that's not a kill. That's not a kill at all. Um... How much does it do? 255 that's guaranteed kill versus Zapdos 270. Zapdos can live a hit. Can probably live a hit. Too bad my IVs are fucked. Um, okay. We're at 302. So it's, that's gonna be a roll. That's gonna be a roll. Um, well, I should have checked my IVs. I should have 100% checked my IVs. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for a T ball. I don't need to agility up, realistically. Oh shit, we got paced. Oh, thank god. Oh my god. Okay, so we might actually still have this. Um, it's gonna be rough, but we might still have this. Um, maybe Owen's oh, speed IV got fucked or something? Or maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Um, regardless though, uh, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Because that means that we still have an out. Um, if Owen's speed IV got fucked, he, that's 100% we lost in the game. If he has just a bulkier spec Zapdos, then that makes more sense. Um, but if Owen's speed IV was fucked, 
he won the game after that because T-Bolt, one, it could have just outright killed me, and two, I would not have had enough HP to beat the Heatran. Um, so yeah, he's going to T-Tar here, that's fine. I think his Fire Punch, he still wins this anyway, actually. Um, but basically my play here is to go for, like, U-Turn spam on him. And I'll be honest, I don't know if it's going to work that well. Oh, if he has Fire Punch, though, and clicks it right here, he wins the game. Because I cannot beat this T-Tar with Zapdos. Um, so we'll hope. We'll hope he does not have it. Um, we'll also hope the Stone Edge doesn't, like, crit us or something. Because we should probably take a Stone Edge, if I had to guess. Um, okay, okay. Come on, just don't do a lot of damage. Don't be banded either. Bandit could fuck us over, actually. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's really bad. That's really bad. Oh, no, I think we still lose. I think we still lose. Okay. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think. So, Tyranitar. Banded versus Scizor. Okay, so that's not banded, actually. It's not banded. That's actually no boosting item. Okay, good to know, good to know. Um, let's see. So, I think my play is to go for U-turn here. Um, he's going for Earthquake. Okay, that's fine. Bullet Punch wasn't going to kill anyway. Bullet Punch guaranteed not kill. Um, in fact, not only that, but Bullet Punch plus T-Bolt didn't even guarantee kill if he's fat T-Tar. So I stand by that play. Because if you went hard Heatran, I lost the game. Um, 100%. If you went hard Heatran on Bullet Punch... Because I had to either let Zapdos take way too much damage, or I had to let this die. So, I fully stand by my U-turn play. Um, I kind of need to do it. Owen made a very good play by just killing his thing. Um, so, it is what it is. Uh, this is a very, very close game. As I said, I shouldn't have even been in this position had Owen had the right speed, assuming he did. I don't know, because I'm 240 speed. So, yeah, if he, was, uh, if he wasn't, if he was max speed modest then I in no way should have been in that position anyway uh, to have won that or to even get the position to chance the win. So I'm not too upset. It is what it is. Uh, definitely have to keep it in mind though. Um, okay, so wow, we're doing a lot. I think it's a crit. That's definitely a crit. Yeah, it's definitely a crit. Um, oh, let's go for Ice Punch here. Good to know. That's going to do enough probably to put me in Heatran range at least. I'd be shocked if it didn't. Um, Heatran. That's a Scarf Heatran he wins anyway as well. Yeah, th no, that's 100% Heatran range. There's zero chance. And I cannot kill Heatran. Even if it's a no bulk Heatran, even naive Heatran, I do 64 max too. So, I cannot kill Heatran. I flat out cannot. I would need to crit Heatran. Um, so, obviously, again, I got a bit lucky for sure to even get in a position to make it this close because it should have been a 2 0 win for Owen. Um, but I'll take it. I'll 100% take it. Um, Owen, though, should be able to guarantee the win as long as he hits his move. There's zero chance that he shouldn't be able to guarantee the win. Uh, fuck, if I bullet punch, I think I won the game, actually. Because Zapdos wouldn't have needed to take an ice punch. It would depend. If he clicked explosion there, I don't know how explosion determines win in Gen 4, but if he clicked explosion there, he guaranteed killed this. So, two, way too many fucking variables. <laughs> way too many fucking variables. I will say, though, that I really wish to check those IVs. Um, I've heard of hyper training, so I gotta keep that in mind. I have to keep that in mind for sure. Uh, okay. So what is he gonna go into? Oh, you know, I don't know why I said that. He has Heatran left. I'm so fucking dumb. Oh my god, why did I say it like that? Oh my god. Uh, if he's Scarf, though, he, he picks up the kill. Um, assuming he hits. Uh, I'm gonna T-Bolt, though, just in case of a crit. Uh, if I win like this, though, I am very sorry, assuming I crit. The same as well as if Owen misses a move. Um, I am sorry about that. But again, Owen should have the game for all intents and purposes. Um, so we'll see. We'll see here, though. Oh my god, this is really fucking suspenseful, though. I hate watching this move. Um, okay. Wow, I crit him. I feel bad. Okay, Owen should have had that. There, there's zero debate about that. Owen should have had that game. Um, I only won that fucking crit. Um, I'll take it, but Owen should have won that. I want to just make that very, very clear. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this, though. Make sure you check out Owen. As I said, Owen's a phenomenal content creator. He literally got me into DPP. So shout out to Owen. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.